I'm here with Steven Roginson of Batch Brewing Company. He is here to tell us a little bit about his business that is competing for the $50,000 prize and free professional services offered in the Hatch Detroit competition. Tell us a little bit about it. Batch Brewery is going to be the first nano brewery in Detroit. Uh, nano Brewery typically produces four barrels or less per batch, so we're making small handcrafted batches of beer. All right, and I want to know a little bit about uh, some of your community outreach. We have two programs that I think speak to our desire to have some sort of substantive impact on the community. Um, the first is something that we call the Feel Good Tap. We're going to have a rotating tap every month featuring a unique beer, and a percentage of the sale of that beer will go to a different charity partner of each month. So we actually want to take some of the resources that are coming in from our customers and put them directly into the hands of a charity partner. And the other one? Uh, the other portion is a program that we, uh, we're calling a brewery incubator. Uh, the idea is to utilize our venue, our tap room, our, our equipment, our license to help other creative beer ideas come to life in the city. Um, there are certainly breweries in Detroit that make good beer, but you know, I, I think, and a lot of people do, that the, the craft beer scene in Detroit is a little bit soft, that we could add a lot of small, quirky, interesting breweries, and if I can use my resources to help facilitate that, I mean, it's better for everyone. Uh, what are you taking a sip of, and what am I about to? Um, this is a beer that uh, we brewed for an event called the Ethere Ale. It's uh, a Belgian strong ale in the range of about 9.5% alcohol, and this is a beer that we call the uh, Weeded Kolsch. It's our summertime sipper. Uh, it's uh, definitely a, a quaffable beer. A quaffable beer. You can drink a few of them. If you would like to vote for quaffable beers, you can go once a day at both facebook.com slash hatchdetroit and hatchdetroit.com. You can vote uh, twice a day until Sunday. And if this fine gentleman makes it out of the first round, then the voting will go beyond that. Cheers to you. Cheers. My name is Lee Paget. I'm with Busted in Detroit, hoping to open a bra shop in the city. And I want to ask you, uh, what is it about bras that needs to happen in Detroit? Is there is there some sort of a overarching need? Is there a void that needs to be filled? There is a void that needs to be filled. Uh, bras are a staple in a woman's wardrobe. We really require women to wear bras in this society, and there's no place for women to buy them here in the city that's convenient at all. Um, those dollars are leaving the city right now. If women are required to wear a bra, why aren't we offering it to them so they can keep the money here? So what we want to do is offer bras from a 30A, which is very tiny, up to a 54K, which is not very tiny, and offering cups up to an N. And when I say your cup runneth over, in an N it does. <laughs> I see, I see. And uh, now it's not just a retail experience, you're also a service-oriented retail store, right? We are going to custom fit the bras, absolutely. And it's not just bras either. We're going to offer all the bra accessories that they're going to need, the different types, sports, fashion, um, sexy, uh, functional t-shirt, strapless, bustiers, you name it, we're gonna, we're gonna have it. I didn't know all those existed, but uh, if you would like to vote for Lee, go to hatchdetroit.com or you can search Facebook for the Hatch Detroit competition. You can vote for her once a day on each of those platforms and uh, you can put her in the running for that $50,000 prize and free professional services. Thank you for coming on, Lee. Thanks for having us. I'm here with Kathleen from Mama's Sweet Side. She is a competitor in the Hatch 2013 competition, looking to win $50,000 and free professional services to help get her business up and running. Now, it looks to me like you've already got a business. Uh, why are you in this competition? We want to be in the city of Detroit. We want to be in a building. We are in a shared use kitchen now. And uh, what we've done, me and my brother, over the past couple of years is really try to build up a reputation and a business, but we always knew we wanted to be in Detroit. So win, lose, or draw, we're coming to Detroit. Okay, and uh, let me let me ask you, you've got these nice uh, fancy little fancy little boxes and stickers and products and everything made up already. Uh, are you selling them yet? Absolutely, we are in Whole Foods Detroit. We are heading to Whole Foods. Bloomfield will be there um, by the end of August. We are in Union Street, the restaurant on um, Woodward Avenue. And we are also in Urban Bean Company, which is um, downtown Detroit. 
Tell me a little bit about the bribes that you have brought me. This is a vanilla dream cake that is covered in chocolate. It is covered in uh, caramel and then it's accented with caramel. It is our number one seller over at Whole Foods Detroit. It, the name is just vanilla bean dream with chocolate and caramel. Lots of people have called it lots of things, including decadent delight, amazing. So we'll see what you have to say. And uh, while I get a little nibble, what are these other two cakes? I see we've got a, uh, let's see, a lemon raspberry dream cake. Yes, these are what we sell in Whole Foods. These are the size that we sell currently. Um, they are $4.99 and they come in four different varieties at Whole Foods, including our blueberry crumble, our lemon raspberry, our vanilla bean dream, and our vanilla chocolate caramel. That is good. <laughs> that is real good. I'm going to end the interview now and I'm going to have myself a full slice of this cake. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you. You can vote for uh, Kathleen and Mama Sweetside twice a day, once on the Facebook page, Hatch Detroit, and another time at HatchDetroit.com. I'm here with Dr. Demisha Edwards. She is the operator of Earth is Natural Hair and Body Boutique, and she is competing against nine other contestants to be the winner of $50,000 and a variety of professional services in the Hatch Detroit competition. I want to know why Detroiters should vote for you over some of your fine competitors. Well, Detroit does not, has yet to have a hair and body boutique for hair and skin that sells all natural products for your body and for your hair. And I'm a pharmacist and I know how to discern harmful chemicals to an alternative from an alternative that I have in my boutique and I would like to help my customers, you, <laughs> how to do that and just come in my store and you can get anything that's chemical free. Okay, and what kind of chemicals are wandering into some of these products that I might find at, say, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> CVS? <laughs> A lot of the lotions or in, uh, shampoos, hair preparations have uh, chemicals in them, um, namely formaldehyde type derivatives that are pretty much bad chemicals that you do not want on your body and your, and your hair. So what you're saying is if you are pro formaldehyde in your <laughs> shampoo, vote for somebody else. If you don't want that, uh, bring, bring Eartha's <laughs> Natural Hair and Body Boutique to Detroit. Yes, absolutely. Now, a lot of our viewers might be wondering, like, is this product line for me? For example, you could look <laughs> at me and you can see that I am a white man. Is mm -hmm. some of this applicable to, uh, to our fairer skin brothers? Absolutely. We have shampoos, lotions, conditioners, and as long as you want to bathe, especially with a natural product, we have it for you. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, you, you, you had me before. I, was just, I thought I was just gonna put products on top, not take them back off. Uh, so if you'd, like to, if you'd like to vote for uh, Dr. Demisha Edwards and Eartha's Natural Hair and Body Boutique, uh, you can do it twice per day, once on Facebook, look for Hatch Detroit, and once again on HatchDetroit.com. You can vote uh, twice a day until Sunday. Yes. All right, good luck to you. Thank and, you. Uh, whether, whether you win or not, I, I certainly hope to see this uh, product line in a brick and mortar store near Yes, me. absolutely, me too, thanks. <laughs> I'm here with Jeff Ells. He is the executive director of Corktown Cinema. It is formerly the Burton Theater, actually my old school. Uh, but I want to know, what is it that you guys have cooking if you are able to open a new, permanent, and your location? Well, in our previous location, we did a lot of stuff that we believed in really strongly, but we were somewhat limited into, in terms of what we could bring. Um, live music and per certain performance art and stuff like that. So at a new home, I think we'd have a lot more freedom to explore areas of interest that we weren't able to in our old spot. But the primary focus of the theater will still be good old-fashioned movies, correct? Yeah. Mainly it'll just be a full-time movie theater, but we'll have some more leeway to do special events. Now, I know that, uh, that right outside of this building, actually, they've been filming Transformers 4. Now, what does Detroit need that isn't made by Michael Bay? Well, there's tons of titles that come to New York and Chicago in the realm of foreign art house and independent cinema. I mean, if anybody is a cinema fan and subscribes to any magazines or even follows Netflix, you know, there's tons of titles, interesting titles that never come here. So there's a plethora of things really to, to select from. So if I hear you correctly, if you would like a plethora of things to select from in Detroit, you should vote on facebook.com slash hatchdetroit for Corkdown Cinema 
or on HatchDetroit.com and you can vote once a day on each of those platforms until Sunday. Do I have all my facts right? That's correct. All right, thanks for coming down and talking to us and very good luck. Thanks. I am here with Angelique Robinson. She is from Treats by Angelique. She is hoping to win the $50,000 and free business services that come along with winning the Hatch Detroit competition. Can you tell me a little bit about how your business got started and where you plan for it to go? Absolutely. My name is Angelique Robinson and I started my business three years ago to earn extra money. After selling all over Midtown and to my coworkers, and my business just took off and I decided to keep it going. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what you see happening in the future. So, so far you've been selling kind of like to, to people you know and people from work uh, to get a little extra cash, but mm -hmm. you're looking to move into a brick and mortar store, correct? Well, it's actually advanced way beyond just my coworkers and friends. I have over 700 people on Facebook who follow me and they order from me all the time. I do catering. I've sold at the bottom line coffee shop. I plan on getting into always brewing in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've moved into a commercial kitchen now, and I do want to have a brick and mortar location on the Avenue of Fashion. Ah, the Avenue of Fashion, that would be Livernoy and Seven? That's right. Oh, okay, okay. Bringing that area back, huh? It, it, it's an area I grew up in. I went to Mom I graduated from Mumford, I graduated from Mary Grove College, and so that neighborhood is just very close to me, and so I love the idea of being part of the revitalization. I see, I see. Uh, when I look at your board, something really draws my eye. Am I Ooh. looking at a cake? topped with M&Ms and surrounded by Kit Kat bars? You got that right, and it's so much more. It's a double chocolate cake uh, with, with chocolate buttercream with Kit Kat and M&Ms. Now, over here, what have we got? Because it looks like you brought a bribe. Well, it's not a bribe, it's a treat. A treat. <laughs> it's my creamy dreamy cookie, which is a cream cheese based sugar cookie, and it's my second best seller, and people love it. Okay, I will try one of these off camera. Uh, if you would like to vote for Angelique, you can vote on Facebook.com slash Hatch Detroit and at HatchDetroit.com you can vote once a day on each platform. That's right. Angelique Robinson, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Ben. I'm here with Sarah Pavelko. She is the owner and operator of the soon to be coming to Detroit Voight Soda House. Can you tell us a little bit about the concept and why it should win Hatch Detroit's $50,000 competition? Absolutely. Uh, Voight Soda House is a modern kick on a, a classic favorite and we will be featuring uh, craft sodas and specialty cocktails made with homemade syrups from seasonal fruits and herbs along with soup salads and sandwiches for lunch and dinner. We really need the uh, hatch funding uh, in order to get our liquor license and do a build out. We're looking to open up either in Milwaukee Junction uh, just south of uh, New Center or in Capitol Park in downtown. And when are you looking to open this, uh, whether you win, lose, or draw? Uh, well, obviously it will be harder if we don't win Hatch, but we would like to be open in summer 2014 with sodas being a summer treat. Uh, the beginning of the summer is the best time to open. I see. And uh, if you would like to vote for Voight Soda House, you can do it twice a day on Facebook.com slash Hatch Detroit or on HatchDetroit.com until Sunday. Should they make it into the final four, you can vote for them plenty of times more after that. Thank you. I'm here with Kurt and Callie of Spielhouse Toys. We're here to discuss why Detroiters should vote for them in the Hatch 2013 competition. Well, we're trying to bring a toy store to the city of Detroit, and what we want to be is a neighborhood uh, specialty toy store, an independent toy store. And what that really means is we're not going to carry anything that you would, uh, that Toys R Us or Walmart or Target would carry, because obviously we wouldn't be able to survive competing with them. So there's a whole segment of the toy industry that caters to specialty toy stores, and typically specialty toys are higher quality toys, uh, educationally based. They encourage creative play, often made in America, and uh, many times the manufacturers focus on eco-friendly manufacturing processes. What, what we really believe, just as many people believe that Detroit is a food desert and Detroiters lack healthy food options, we believe that Detroit is a toy desert and Detroit's children lack healthy toy options. So we're trying to solve that problem. There hasn't been a toy store in the city uh, I don't want to, I'd say in, in many, many, many years. And uh, we're trying to bring a toy store back to the city for the children of Detroit. So if you would like to vote on the kids' behalf, go to HatchDetroit.com or Facebook.com slash HatchDetroit. You can vote once a day on each of those platforms until Sunday. Should Spielhouse Toys make it past the Final Four, 
uh, you'll be able to vote long past that. Callie, who's got your vote? Her thumb. Her thumb has her vote. <laughs> I'm here with Amy from Henrietta House, and I want to know why you should be the next winner of the $50,000 Hatch Detroit Competition 2013. Well, we've been looking around the city since 2009 for a place to open our coffee roastery, and we finally found the perfect spot on the south end of Hamtramck. We bought a building that's um, been a butcher shop for about 95 years. Uh, we're going to turn it into our coffee roastery and cafe, so we could definitely use the $50,000 to get the doors open. I want to know what it is about your coffee that's going to be different than the other coffee options that are in the you know, Detroit region. Well, we roast our own beans. I know there are some other roasters around town that do their own beans. Uh, we do very small batches, three pounds at a time. So I take care to look at each bean that comes out. Um, our buyer travels all around to all the coffee growing regions in the world and they buy the best beans directly from the farmers so the farmers are getting a higher price and then I roast them to perfection and everyone's happy. If you would like to have your coffee roasted each bean individually or something close to it please vote for Henrietta House on facebook.com slash Hatch Detroit or HatchDetroit.com. You can vote twice a day until Sunday. Uh, thank you very much for coming on with us. Thank you.